Let me ask you something. Sure. Ask away. It's just, uh, with everything that's happened with you and your, your family, it's a whole hell of a lot to process. I wanted to make sure you're holding up all right. Yeah. I'm all right. Huh. You're a tougher nut than I thought. Tougher than I was. Took me a long damn time to get a feel for this place. Thank goodness I found Diamond City. It's got its flaws, sure, but it beats the hell out of anywhere else in the Commonwealth. Of course, when I took up there back when, people were just as scared of the Institute as they are now. Maybe more. The massacre of the CPG was still pretty fresh in people's minds at that point. And folks were still losing sleep over the broken mask. Plenty of people assumed I was just a saboteur, moving in to melt down the reactor or poison the drinking water. But at the time, they couldn't exactly turn me away. Massacre of the CPG? What's that? The Commonwealth Provisional Government. Years back, a group of settlements tried to get together and form a coalition. Every settlement with even a hint of clout sent representatives to try and hash out an agreement. Only the Institute sent a representative of their own. A synth. The man killed every rep at the talks. The Commonwealth Provisional Government was over before it even got off the ground. I took up in town not long after. I was damn lucky they didn't just tell me to scram right then and there. Broken mask? This was long before I'd moved to town, but apparently some gentleman type shows up in Diamond City, heads down to Power Noodles. Guess he didn't like the food because he pulled his pistol and opened fire on the folks enjoying theirs. When security finally put enough holes in him to drop him, they say he was full of servos and sprockets. Just like yours truly. Seems he malfunctioned, went berserk. It was the first time people realized that synths had stopped looking like me and started looking like them. Considering what these folks went through, I felt real lucky they let me in the front gate at all. Why'd they let you in? Because I'd rescued the mayor's daughter. Gal of about fifteen. Pride and joy of the mayor back then. Man by the name of Henry Roberts. The young Miss Roberts decided she'd run off with some caravan hand she'd, uh, <clears throat> known for an evening. Turns out the guy was part of a gang of kidnappers. I didn't even know who I was rescuing. Just stumbled on a crying girl and four toughs. I took her home, and the mayor dubbed me a hero, offered me a place in town. Lots of folks protested, said I was a spy, but he wouldn't have it. Taking up in the city was tricky at first, but I never tried to hide what I was, and people seemed to warm to that. You took them. Well, I didn't have to. Back then, synths were even more of an unknown quantity than they are today. I told them I was rigged to explode and started going, beep. Beep, beep. Hardest part of that rescue was keeping from laughing as they climbed over each other to get away. Was it hard, settling in? Yeah, they sure didn't make it easy. I started off doing the jobs no one else wanted. I got more banged up being Diamond City's handyman than I ever did living out in the ruins. But I guess folks never forgot I rescued the mayor's daughter, so they started coming to me when people went missing. Wife runs off with a new paramour and takes the rent money with her? Talk to the synth. An upset father decides moving him and the kids to good neighbor in the dead of night's not the worst damn idea since the bomb? Go get Nick. After a while, the jobs got so backed up, they didn't even ask me to do the handyman stuff anymore. Hell, I was so happy to do it, it was months before I started charging anyone. I never stopped being Nick the synth. But it was Nick the detective folks came to see. It was about then that things, uh, well, things finally started feeling normal. It took me a long time to realize that home is where you make it. And with some time and effort, this place can be home for you, too. That's a long story, but I hope it helps. Want to get moving?
Are you crazy? Get out of the street before any more of them catch wind of you! Look, I'll open the gate, and you get in here quick! I'm gonna let you in the bunker! Don't make me regret this! Excuse me. Hey. Lady, did someone drop you? Sure made a mess head? of this place, Maybe. didn't they? Or did you have to work? Now to watch get this. Stupid? Hey, come look at this. What the hell were those things? What, you've never seen a mire lurk before? You must have lived a charmed life up until now. Mire lurks are disgusting creatures that live near the water. Some of them look like walking fishmen, others like big butt ugly lobsters. The ones outside, the crabby looking ones, those SOBs are hard to kill on account of the armor you saw. Luckily, I've got Reba here to help me crack those crabs wide open. Isn't that right, girl? Who's... who's Reba? Are you talking about your gun? She's not just a gun. She's top of the line. Best gun in the Commonwealth. Made her with my own two hands. Oh, where are my manners? Introductions. Barney Rook, commander of the Salem Volunteer Militia, at your service. I'm also the quartermaster, sergeant-at-arms, and scribes for all official meetings. This here is Reba, but you two already met when she saved your life. Is it just the two of you? Where is everyone else? Wasn't always just two of us. Now, I'd love to sit here gabbing all day like a couple of housewives. But we've got some work to do. And by we, I most definitely mean you. Before you showed up, the Meyer Lurks had been mostly quiet. And those that were a problem were quickly dispatched by my turret defense system. Since things had been quiet lately, I took the turrets offline to conserve ammunition. Obviously, they need to be reactivated. And that's your mission, soldier. I'm going to continue to hold down the home front while you go reactivate the turrets. What's in it for me? Look, don't tell Reba, but I've been working on a sister for her in my spare time. I'm thinking of calling her Reba, too. She's in the back room. She's not as tough as her older sister, but she's all yours if you help me out. Reba would probably get jealous anyway. The turrets should be easy enough to find. They're up high in strategic locations around town. Just be careful. All your noise probably woke up more crabbies and other mire lurks. The town could be crawling with them by now. Your thoughts? A Commonwealth's not an easy place to travel alone. Nice to have someone watching my back. How are we doing, Nick? Well, traveling with you beats being held prisoner in some vault. That's for darn sure. So, yeah, I'd say we're fine. Nothing else for now. Suit yourself. Barney, what happened here? Well, that's a long story. You sure you want to hear it? Barney, are you okay? Yeah! <laughs> I'm fine! It's just... My family's lived in this town going back generations. Far as I can tell, we've been here as long as it has. Even after the bombs dropped, my folks worked hard to keep the town together and drive out any threats. We did such a good job that before I was even born, this place was one of the safest towns in the Commonwealth. And soon everyone forgot how to be cautious. I begged the town council to let me train the militia, to teach the citizens how to shoot and fend for themselves. But they thought I was just paranoid. I knew something was coming, I just didn't know what. And when the mire lurks started rising out of the ocean, no one was ready. I saved as many as I could, sniping crabbies from my roost upstairs. But for everyone I saved, three were goners. And that was a couple of years ago. Ever since then, 
I vowed to protect this town, and I don't plan on breaking that vow. What will you do now? I figure the last rook will die here. Whether it's in the belly of one of those crabs, or in my bed many years from now. All right, enough chit-chat. You've got a job to do, so go do it. Hide and seek.
Hey, Barney. You did it, didn't you? Ha! I could hear that sweet, sweet machine gun music all the way down here. You almost caught me in Reba Midwalls. Tell me we don't need to find something in here, because that may take a while. Is that it? Will they come back? They might, but they'll have something to think about if they do. Now, about that reward. Here's a key to my workshop in the bunker. Reba 2 should be sitting on the table in there. I'd say you earned her. Now, if you'll excuse me, I believe today is earmarked for some target practice. The Salem Volunteer Militia never rests. Nice.